Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all of the titles that I picked up during the month of February, so stick around. Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all of the titles that I picked up during the month of February. A lot of great store exclusives, some still books, um, some things that I picked up from different countries. Um, so I'm going to go over all of these by the week. So the first week I did get Over the Edge. Um, this right here is a Shout Select title that I'm not very familiar with, but very happy to have this one added to the collection. From Second Side, I got Inside, another one that I'm not very familiar with. From the UK, I got Circle of Danger. On DVD, I got The Book of Hearth. Um, from Scream Factory, I got Funeral Home with a slip. From Kino Lorber, I got OSS 17, OSS 117, the five film collection, Burn Offerings, also the um, Thomas Crown Affair, The Big Country, and Witness for the Prosecution. So those are all of the ones from the first week. For the second week, I got the Columbia Classics Volume 4 set. Really nice looking box set with some great titles. Um, definitely go out there on YouTube and look up for some unboxings. I also got this beautiful set here. This right here um, is the Universal Classic Monsters Limited Edition Collection. Great looking artwork on this. Contains all of these titles in 4K. So very happy to have that. Also I got Priscilla, A24 release. It was an okay movie. A Creature is Stirring. I got the Weird Al, um, I got Weird, the Al Yankovic Story still book. I got Daryl Dixon, the Complete Season 1 still book. Fear is the Key from Arrow. Willy's Wonderland with a slipcover. And also the still book release. I got Footloose with a slipcover. And also there was a still book release, which I really like. Then we have the Marvels released. I've got the Blu-ray release with a slip, the 4K release with a slip, and also the Walmart exclusive still book release. <clears throat> from let's see, this right here is from 101 Films. I got Alligator and Alligator 2 box set. From the UK, I got Invasion of the Body Snatchers. And then we have the release for The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I got the Blu-ray release with a slip. The Amazon exclusive 4K Lenticular with a slip. And also the Steelbook release. And this really nice box set. Um, I believe this right here was a Walmart exclusive. So that was all from the second week. Okay, the third week was a little bit lighter. We did get the Platoon Shop Factory Walmart Exclusive Still Book. Also, I got um, The Last Castle. Great film. I really enjoyed this one. Beverly Hills Cop 3 um, 4K release with a slip. Leviathan 4K release with a slip. Dark Man 4K release with a slip. And also this really amazing looking still book. Really enjoyed watching this one. Then we got the Hanna-Barbera Superstars 10 collection with all these great titles in it. I love all of these. I would love to have all of these individually, but this right here was more affordable just buying the box set. It was a lot cheaper that way, but hopefully I'll be able to get these individually. Um, I also got the Wages of Fear, a BFI release from the UK, and I got Red Corner. This right here is from Umbrella. I got the Five Nights at Freddy's um, still book release from the UK. Slaughter in San Francisco from 88 Films. I got Yakuza Wolf 1 and 2 from Eureka. And then I got Drifter from Kino Lorber. And Nothing But a Man from Criterion. So that was all during the third week. Okay, during the fourth week, it was a huge week, a lot of titles. We got Dr. Chion and the Lost Talisman with a slipcover. Um, we have Jill Rips. This right here is a Shop Factory exclusive 
limited run. I've got Puss in Boots with a slip. Extreme Dinosaurs, the complete series with a slip. From Vinegar Syndrome, I got One Man with a slip cover. Dogs Don't Wear Pants with a slip cover. Um, we have the Walmart exclusive Dragon Heart Steelbook release. We have Monk, the complete season four from Kino Lorber. Glad that they're doing those. Got the final season for Fear the Walking Fear the Walking Dead, the complete eighth season. Got a kid for two farthings. From 88 Films, I got so close with a slipcover. Um, from Radiance, I got by a man's face shall you know by a man's face shall you know him. And then I also got Evil Dead Trap and Evil Dead Trap 2, both releases. I got Street Law. This right here is an 88 Films release with a slip. From Eureka, I got Paths of Glory. I got the Walmart exclusive Twister. Um, this right here is a glow in the dark with slip. Then I also got the still books. We have Dune, Fast X, Battlestar Galactica, and also Godzilla vs. Kong. And I also got the Walmart exclusive still book for Creep Show. I know what you did last summer. Hollow Man, Anaconda, The Magnificent Seven, from Vinegar Syndrome, I got the horrible Dr. Hitchcock, nice little set, Southern Comfort, Little Darlings, and also Red Rock West, from Shout from Shout Factory, I got the classic Tokusatsu collection, or however you say that. Another Vinegar Syndrome title, Never Surrender. This right here is a documentary for Galaxy Quest, I do believe. I got the VHS 85 with a slip cover. Migration 4K with a slip. I got All Quiet on the Western Front, still book release. Really beautiful looking still book. I got Dream Scenario A24 release. I got the Wonka 4K release with a slip. Also got the Target exclusive. Finally, it came in. And this beautiful Walmart exclusive Wonka still book. From Kino Lorber, I got Fear and Desire with a slip. This here is a 4K release. Gunfight at the OK Corral. From. Criterion, I also got the Roaring Twenties. So those are all the titles that I picked up during the month of February. Very happy to have all of these in my collection. Um, like I said, I am still waiting on a few titles, but I just didn't want to hold up this video any longer. I do apologize. I'm a little bit under the weather, but I did want to go ahead and get this video out. Please make a comment below. Let me know what you think about the titles that I picked up during the month of February. And also let me know the titles that you were able to pick up because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on X. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.